Back now with those new concerns about putting your pets on an airplane after a Pomeranian died during a Delta layover in Detroit. ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with the story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. The family tells me their dog got that required checkup just days before the flight and had a clean bill of health. They say they paid $275 to fly the pup, but what they lost was priceless. This morning, Michael De La Grazi is devastated after his beloved Pomeranian Alejandro died during a transfer on a Delta Airlines flight. The dog is not a pet. He's a family member. We are just lost without answers. What happened to our dog? We don't know. The eight-year-old dog was shipped in the cargo hold aboard a flight from Phoenix, Arizona to Newark, New Jersey, but had a layover in Detroit, Michigan. De La Grazi was planning to pick up the pooch in Newark. But in Detroit, a terrible discovery. At approximately 6 o'clock in the morning, um, Alejandro was checked on. He was fine. And then at approximately 8.30, 8 o'clock in, in the morning, uh, the dog was again checked on. He was dead. Alejandro's owners hiring Evan O'Shan, the same attorney who represented the family whose French bulldog, Kikoda, died on a United Airlines flight in March after they were told by a flight attendant to put the dog in an overhead bin. O'Shan arrived at Detroit's airport Saturday night with De La Grazi, demanding to see the Pomeranian. We would like to see the dog now. Yeah, we wouldn't want to do that. We so we can't see the dog? We're, we're not allowed to see the dog? He called for a criminal investigation after Alejandro's body was handed over in a garbage bag. Delta says it has launched its own investigation, telling ABC News that it is conducting a thorough review of the situation and have been working directly with Alejandro's family to support them however we can. Michael tells me he's still waiting to find out exactly how his dog died. Experts say while these incidents are devastating for families, obviously, they are rare. Out of the more than half a million animals transported on domestic flights last year, 24 died. And it is the summertime. A lot of people go to travel. They right. want to take their pets. So what can they do? There, we talked to a vet, and here's what they say. Try to travel with your dog. Don't send it uh, independently on an airline. Try to make sure it's within your eyesight. You also want to book f uh, flights that are direct. Don't have any layovers. And if you have layovers, make sure they're short and that they're not in places where the tarmac might get excessively cold or excessively hot. Mm. And most importantly, check the record of the airline when it comes to traveling with pets. All right, Ariel. Thank you so much. Always sad though yeah for no it is good advice so for bad. everyone traveling we feel sorry for the family of course hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching